He's called his time here at the Beaver Creek Institution terrifying. Marco Muzzo today pled his case to be released on day parole and eventually full time parole in front of the Parole Board of Canada. Though two members today shot down denied that request, saying that he hasn't come to terms and got proper treatment here at this facility for his misuse of substances, particularly alcohol, that led to the death of three young siblings and their grandfather in 2015. Now, today we heard three powerful victim impact statements. We also heard from Jennifer Neville Lake, the mother of the three kids whose lives were taken on that day. This is what she had to say after spending time in the room with Marco Muzzo. If there is an opportunity for me to hear from the man who killed all of my kids why he did certain things, I'm going to take it. It is, I won't, it was not easy. It was gut-wrenchingly hard and when there were times when I'm sitting here ready to throw up and there was a time when I actually bolted from the room because I couldn't handle it. Although parole both were, uh, I think it was day and full parole today was denied. It doesn't change a thing for me. I still will go home, still be empty, still stare at urns, still stare at photos because of an impaired driver who took innocent lives. Marco Muzo can appeal today's decision within the next two months. He can also reapply for another hearing in about one year. For now, he'll be spending the next year behind bars right here at the Correctional Institution in Gravenhurst. I'm Adrian Gobriel, City News.